When entering a contract, parties are often operating under a number of assumptions regarding surrounding circumstances. But what happens when both contracting parties are operating under a mistaken assumption? We explore the doctrine of mutual mistake in Renner v. Keel. Roy Renner, Lawrence Colton, and Kofa Farms Incorporated, who we'll refer to collectively as Renner, contracted to purchase agricultural leases on approximately 2,000 acres of undeveloped desert land from Kenneth and Octavia Keel, Lane and Jeanette Moyle, and K&M Farms, who we'll refer to collectively as Keel. Renner intended to grow jojoba on the property and expressed this intent to Keel. Both parties believed at the time of contracting that the land had sufficient water beneath it to support commercial jojoba production. Renner paid a deposit of approximately $80,000 and agreed to pay the remaining $142,000 in annual installments. After purchasing the leases, Renner began developing the property by drilling five test wells to assess the water supply. Unfortunately, the wells proved that there was insufficient water to support jojoba production. After spending $229,000 on development, the proven lack of water supply forced Renner to discontinue the project. Renner filed suit against Keel to rescind or undo the contract on the basis of mutual mistake. Keel filed a counterclaim to recover the outstanding balance of the lease's purchase price. The trial court found in favor of Renner, granting rescission and awarding approximately $309,000 to cover Renner's deposit and provide consequential damages for expended development costs. The appellate court affirmed, and Keel appealed to the Arizona Supreme Court, arguing that rescission was improper or, alternatively, that Renner wasn't entitled to consequential damages.